worship in spirit and in truth. What is truth? Strong's Concordance breaks it down to truth, true in matters under consideration. All right, that's easy enough. I can, I can handle that alone, which means the matters I'm thinking about, I want to make sure my decisions are truthful-based, not fear-based, not rejection-based, not strife-based, not even job. I mean, we could go down the list. Anything opposite of love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. That means every decision I make, that's what I'm basing it on. But it's the second line of that Strong's that kind of went, uh. What is true in things towards God and duties of man in moral and religious matters? And religion there isn't about religion, like staunchy, just boxed up religion. That means I'm worshiping God. I'm paying respect to him and homage and reverence in my humility, trusting him in what I'm doing that he knows better than me, in every aspect of my life, how I think, speak, and act, in the decision-making of between, in the, the, the weird morph of my spirit man and my physical soul and memories and thinking and all that kind of jazz, and then, in truth, making sure that, that I'm worshiping him correctly in the areas of the decisions I make that are morally and biblically correct. Oof. Now, many of you are going, well, okay, that doesn't seem that difficult. Start pinpointing the ones that are difficult then. See, this isn't about being perfect. None of us are perfect. We will never do this perfectly. If you think you have arrived and are perfect, um, how do I say this politely? You're wrong. You need ministry. Because none of us have arrived. There are things this morning in my thinking, rolling out of bed, I've already had to repent for because it just wasn't, it was not worshiping God in my thinking. Most of it was directed back at me, but that's beside the point. Now, if we're supposed to worship God in spirit and in truth, boom. There's this wonderful book of the Bible in a chapter, Hebrews chapter 11, that is this amazing list of all these awesome things people did out of faith. The thing is, is most of them never saw it come to fruition. They didn't see that end result. Which means when we worship God in spirit and in truth, it's not about the end result either. It's about at that moment. Everything that we do requires an action of faith in worshiping God in spirit and in truth. 